Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's Drew Tube. I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every Chosen Vessel to press that like button, press that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family and salute to the Drew Nation. Let's get into it. Look, better opportunities are coming your way. So stop worrying and start manifesting thoughts that bring your desire. All right. Better opportunities are coming your way. You have to start using your mind to make that happen. Better opportunities are going to come your way. You have to use your mind to make that happen. If you see yourself being stuck somewhere, or if you see yourself being stuck in life, that's what you're going to get out of life because those are the thoughts you're thinking. Whatever you think all day long is what you become. If you think uh, thoughts of poverty, if you think thoughts of despair, if you think thoughts of negativity, thoughts of I'm never going to get out of this, this is a black day, all right, this is a, a, a negative day, this is a, um, this is a horrible experience, um, this, is, this isn't going to get any better, things are only going to get worse. Like there are people who wake up first thing out of their mouth instead of saying the joy of the Lord is my strength or this is the day that the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in it. The, they're manifesting negative thoughts. They're, they're thinking negative thoughts in their mind, and that's why they, they, their life stays negative. That's why their experiences stay negative. If you don't change your mind, the way you think about your life, the way you think about the things that are going on in your life, you're going to stay in the same situation. You're going to stay experiencing the same plights. So what you need to do is you need to get your mind on gear with the direction you want to go in life, so that way you could become a vibrational match. How do you become a vibrational match? You have to be in alignment. How do you become in alignment? With what you think, what you speak, and what you desire for yourself. If what you think is different than what you speak, then your desires will never be met. If your desires don't match what you think and speak, your desires will never be met. Your words, your thoughts will never lead you in the direction. They'll never guide you in the direction of where you want to go. All right. They'll never guide you in the direction that you want to go. That's why people who have negative mindsets are stuck. That's why people who have negative mindsets, you have tried to help them along your journey. You tried to help people who were thinking a certain way and they didn't change their mind. You tried to say, hey, brother, or hey, sister, if you start thinking like this, then your life will be different. Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, friend. If you start thinking like this, things will change. Unfortunately, you may have been working on yourself. You may have come across some type of new knowledge or you may have crossed some type of different scripture or some type of different Bible breakdown or some type of sacred book or some type of secret mysticism book or something like that that lets you know that there's a different way to think about things. And now you, you telling it to the rooftops. You want to tell everybody, hey, you know, you don't have to think like this. Hey, you know, if you think different, things will change. They don't want to go through the process of that. You have to save all that energy for yourself. You have to because you can't change other people. You can only change yourself. And if you're working on changing yourself, don't focus on trying to change nobody else. Just work on you. And whoever will take heed to the message that God uh, brings to you to uh, e express or share with others, it's for them. If it's not for them, it won't be. You can't make something that's not for somebody be for somebody. So if you want better opportunities, if you want to start manifesting better in your life, stop worrying. Change your thoughts. All right. Stop worrying. Change the way you think about your money. Change the way you think about your financial situation. Change the way you think about poverty. Stop thinking that you have to be somebody famous to be rich. God can bless you just like he blessed them. If he blessed them. Not everybody rich and famous was blessed by God. But I don't know. I take that back. God says he makes men rich and he makes men poor. So I'll have to look further into that. Excuse me for my error. All right. Excuse me for my infraction on the play. But God makes men rich. I remember hearing that verse in that scripture before. God makes men rich and he makes men poor. So the God in you can make you rich 
or the God in you can make you poor because you're only going to experience God through yourself, through your own experience in life. You're not going to experience God through him, through her, through them, through nobody but you. All right. So all you have to do is speak into your existence. Better opportunities are coming. All you have to do is speak into your life. Better opportunities are coming. And better opportunities, yo, if you were to just sit in your room in silence for about five or 10 minutes and just say better opportunities are coming, a opportun- even if it felt like it fell out the sky, an opportunity would have to come to you. When, when you think that I'm broke, when you think that things aren't going to work out, when you keep telling yourself, I don't have a job, you're going to stay without one. When you keep telling yourself, nobody wants to hire me, you're going to stay unhired. You're going to stay laid off. Your mindset does a lot for your life and how you live it. Your thoughts are the beginning to how you manifest. If you want to manifest something in life, you need to start manifesting something in your mind. And that's a different thought. That's a different way of, of thinking about your, 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 um, the things that are going on in your life. If you think negatively about what you're going through in life and you don't see yourself uh, overcoming it, you don't see a way out, you don't see any light at the end of the tunnel, you're not listening to anybody that's positive. You're just listening to your negative friends. Oh, you know, we stuck here. Oh, you know, we ain't going to ever be nothing. Oh, you, oh why you want to read that? Why you want to do that? Why you want to be better? You sound like one of them one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish type people. Why are you trying to raise the consciousness? What makes you, oh man, that's just that black stuff, man. You sound like one of them bean pie people. You got a bean pie, my brother. You got a bean pie, sister. People trying to discourage you. People trying to break you down because you have a positive message. People trying to correlate you and add you in to other people and and the negative things they say about them. It's really because they hold you at a high esteem. It's really because they see you as somebody great. So when you're great and people see you that way, they're going to hate. So stop worrying. Stop agreeing with them. Start manifesting thoughts that bring you to your desire. Start manifesting thoughts that magnetize you. Start manifesting thoughts that pull you in the direction where you want to go. Start manifesting thoughts that help you manifest your reality that you desire to live in. Your mind is a powerful thing. Why do you think people are always constantly trying to attack it? Why do you think the media is always programming people's minds, telling you where to eat, telling you what to eat, throwing commercials at you every five seconds? Commercials now be longer than the TV show. Before it was an equal balance. If you do the history on television, tell live vision, it started, they started soap operas because they wanted the soap company wanted to broadcast their commercial. So in between commercials, they had to figure out something to get people to watch the TV so they would watch their commercial. So that's how the name Soap Opera got its name. Soap Opera, they were trying to sell a product and they sold their product by getting you to watch their commercial. They had the stars with using the soap. They, I'm pretty sure they had, if they were smart, they had the soap being used in the actual TV show. But that's how that's how um, commercials started. That's how TV started. They wanted to, they, the people who had products had enough money to put their ad on television, put their ad in the radio. So that way people would buy their product by watching their commercial in between the uh, the breaks from their favorite shows. The mind is very powerful. So you have to work your mind. If not, the world will work your mind. And if you let the world work your mind, you're going to end up with what the world wants for you. Poverty, negativity, bad health, a corrupted mindset, a negative mindset. And if you think like that, ain't no opportunity going to get to you. Not one that you want. It's going to be an opportunity that you hate. That's why so many people out here that hate their lives because they let themselves be programmed by the world. You're supposed to be pro. You're supposed to let God program you. You're supposed to program your own mind with positive thinking, with Bible verses, uh, verses, with positive books, positive scriptures, positive affirmations. Your mind 
in a negative world, your mind has to be positive, 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 positive. Yes, the world is negative. Yes, you're not all positive. Yes, you may be negative. But if you wanna if you wanna change your life, it's gonna happen with those positive thoughts. Even if you use the negative to help you change. Well, I got some negative things and I used them to help me. That's positive. I got some negative things, and if they didn't happen to me, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't be in this new position that I'm in now. So what you talking about, Drew? That's positive. All you gotta do is change your perspective and change the way you look at the situation. That that's basically you're just telling me something happened to you. I mean, you're just telling me something didn't happen to you. It happened for you. I said, you didn't You didn't just tell me something happened to you. You told me it happened for you. So why not allow these things to happen for us? Why not to use, why not use these things as an example? Why not use these things to, to help motivate others? Manifest thoughts that bring you to your desire. You tell yourself you already have it. You have it. You tell yourself you're going to get it. You already have it. Nope, nope, not necessarily. Excuse me. If you tell yourself you already have it, you're you're going to have it. You tell yourself you're going to get it. You may possibly stay stuck in that I'm going to get it and may never end up getting it. That's why you have to be definite and specific. Excuse me for my error, y'all. You have to be definite with the infinite. You have to speak it into existence. You have to claim it as if it's already yours. You can't say it's on its way. You can't say I uh it's coming. I already have it. I own it. It's mine. And that's how you have to speak. The people who speak like that, they have it. You ever seen somebody that was so amped up on getting this girl? That girl's mine. And then you see him dating her next month? He made that a reality. You ever see somebody, a female, don't let a female say that. That, that man is mine. She, that man already hers. And that's how you have to go about what you want in life. You've done it already. Man, that job is mine. That shirt is mine. You went and bought that shirt, put it on. You can do the same thing with everything else. You may not be able to get it right now. You may not be able to have it right now, but the mindset will create the reality for you to one day have it. This is how everybody gets what they want in life. How you think Jay-Z got to where he was at? He spoke it into existence. How you think Kanye got to where he was at? They spoke it into existence. People are reading these books, these sacred, these books, and they're using the knowledge and the wisdom in the book to help them get what they want out of their life. That's, that's why people talk so much about that book, The Secret. The feeling is the secret. When you get the feeling of what you desire, you create that reality for yourself. The, the feeling is one of the most powerful tools to manifest what you want. That's why when the Bible says you must become drunk, they're not talking about drunk with wine. They're talking about drunk with the feeling of what you desire, drunk with the feeling of being greater, drunk with the feeling of being the one that you see yourself being. Drunk with the feeling of being the piano player. Drunk with the feeling of being the doctor. Drunk with the feeling of being the, the lawyer, the basketball player. You have to get drunk with the feeling of what you want. If you see yourself as being a rich man or a rich woman, how would you feel if you already had the money? If you see yourself manifesting a better opportunity, how would you feel in that new opportunity? How would you feel with that new position? What, how much money would you be making? How would it feel to finally get that salary? How would it feel to finally start that business? How would it feel to have a million subscribers, a million clients, a million streams, a million plays? How would it feel to be the person who lives the life that you want? All these people who are living the life that they want, that you see, how would you feel if you were in their position? Better opportunities are coming your way, so stop worrying. Stop thinking that you're not blessed enough. Stop thinking that you're not good enough. You have to get rid of these thoughts. You have to check your mind throughout the day. When you start to feel bad and you don't feel good anymore as the day goes on, you need to check yourself and see what you're thinking. Are you letting, some, are you letting somebody get to you? Are you letting some place get to you? Are you letting something get to you? People don't have the power to get to you. Places don't have the power to get to you. Things don't have the power to get to you. There's no power except through your very own mind. You're the only thinker in your universe. No person, place, or thing has the power to disturb you as long as you refuse to let that happen because you know that you are the only thinker in your universe. Your mind has more powerful, it has more power than anyone else out in this world, no matter what they could say to you. You'll never get that. You'll never make that happen. Blasphemy. 
I don't receive that. I rebuke that. You know how many times I've been saying that to quietly to myself? I rebuke that. I let people finish what they have to say. I let them tell me what they have to tell me. If, 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 it's a, if it's a place or time where I can't just walk away and get up and just leave, I just rebuke it silently to myself. I rebuke that. I rebuke that. I, rebuke, I don't accept it. And I reject it and I redirect it back to them. All right. People know that you want to advance. People know that you want to get ahead. People know that you're crazy about success. People know you're crazy enough to get what you want. People know you'll stand out in the rain. People know you'll walk a mile. People know you'll you'll uh, go to a new place. People know that about you. You have to be crazy enough to get what you want. And they know you're crazy enough to get what you want. That's why they have to try to discourage you. That's why they want to make you feel like you're not going to get it because they know you're going to get it. They see you in the place you already see yourself because you walk, you already are walking in that confidence. You're already living and feeling and acting like the one. The more you affirm these things, the more it becomes firm in your mind that you're going to have this in due time. When you affirm, I'm the one in the Cadillac, I'm the one in the Rolls Royce, I'm the one in the antique car, 1950s with the red paint and the fish fins and the uh, cream leather interior with the white wall tires. That's me. I get to drive that every Sunday to my favorite diner and eat the best food. And, and even though it may, it may be a $300 breakfast, I don't care. God loves me. I deserve the best. If the breakfast cost $1,000, God wouldn't care. It's just paper money. It's just paper money. You deserve the best. It's just paper money. It's just materials. It's just things. It's nothing to God. When you love God and you believe in him, you're supposed to be successful. You're supposed to be prosperous. People get caught up because they have a poverty mindset instead of an abundance mindset. A thousand dollar breakfast? <gasps> That's like going to God and picking up a thousand seashells off the beach and thinking that you're about to be punished. Well, I just, I just got a thousand seashells. Where's my lightning strike at? You going you you're going to bring that lightning strike to you by the power of your very own mind. There was a lady who got murdered and she got brutally murdered and some other things had happened to her. And you want to know what she was doing up until that point? Collecting newspaper articles and clippings about women who were getting murdered women who were getting followed, stalked, tracked. She was collecting news articles and putting them in her room. And she would go and look at them from time to time because she had a fear that something like that would happen to her. Lo and behold, that fear be that she beheld, it came upon her. You have to let go of all your fears. You have to release thoughts of negativity. You got to release the idea of something bad happening to you because of what something may look like. God is stronger than what things may look like. Your faith is stronger than what things may look like. Better opportunities are coming your way right now. Say it, claim it, speak it, think it, feel it, know it. Feel that you're the one who deserves it. See yourself with the new this, the new that, the better this, the better that. Your mind is powerful enough. Your brain is magnetic enough. Why do you think they're always doing studies on the brain? There's always something new that can be learned about it. The human body, all its abilities have not even yet been discovered yet fully. So people aren't even fully using their brain to its fullest capabilities, its fullest possibilities. God's children are because we know that God is infinite. We know that his power is infinite. We know that his power is never ending, overflowing, everlasting. There's nothing that God can't do. With Christ, all things are possible. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. The joy of the Lord is my strength. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm not going to look at whatever's going on in my reality currently and allow it to make me sad in it. When you focus on things that are negative, when you focus on things that you can't change, you're bringing, you're bringing those maladies into your life. You're bringing those negative experiences into your life all because of what you're focused on. So don't allow your mind to be focused on negative things all the time. You have to know just because I'm going through this doesn't mean I'm stuck here. Just because I'm going through this doesn't mean I'm never going to get over it. Doesn't mean I'm never going to get through it. You're going through it to get you're going through it to get to it, to get to whatever you want. Whatever you're going through is supposed to uplift you. It's supposed to motivate you to do better. You're supposed to see a negative circumstance and be like, ah, 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 
Not me. You're not going to get me. I'm stronger than this. I'm better than this. I'm wiser than this. I have I have in me what it takes to 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 surpass this. I can achieve what it is I see for myself in my mind. There's nothing that can stop me from having, being, and doing what I want in life with my life. I'm not going to let you stop me. I'm not going to let myself stop me. I'm not going to let the world stop me. I'm not going to let somebody's opinion stop me from feeling and knowing what I deserve. I'm going to let my thoughts bring me to my desires. I'm going to manifest better thoughts so that way I could manifest a better life. If you're worrying, you need to stop that. Your worries are magnets for negative realities, negative circumstances, and negative situations. If you hold that worry long enough, if that worry becomes a mental picture formed in your mind, and you don't let go of that mental picture or that negative situation from that worry, it's going to become a reality. You're going to experience that because whatever you press against your subconscious mind, you will experience in your reality. It's a universal law. You can't not experience what you press against your mind. Wake up and tell yourself you're going to have the best day ever every day. Even when things go wrong, they won't be able to get to they won't be able to get to you. I'm going to have the best day every day. Today is my best day yet. I'm doing best than I've ever been and worse than I'll ever be. How are you doing? I'm doing better than good. Better than most. Better than yesterday. All these little sayings will help you get through. Your positive affirmations are there to help you get through. They're there to help you work your mind. You're not just saying something and hoping for something to change. What you're saying is supposed to change you. And when it changes you, it changes what you think. Changes how you feel. Changes what you see. Even though what you see may not have changed. What you see for yourself will change. Instead of you feeling stuck, you'll see a way out. Instead of you feeling stuck, you'll be like, man, I'm not going to be here forever. I clearly see a way out. I clearly see opportunities coming my way. I see better opportunities coming my way. Every day in every way, I get better and better. You need to say that and feel that and know that that's true when it comes to your situation. Because no, what is it? Luke chapter one, I believe is verse. I'm not sure the verse number, but I know it's Luke chapter one. That no word out of God's mouth will ever fail. No word out of God's mouth will ever fail. With the power of God, you can overcome anything. With the power of God, you can get through anything. With the power of God, if you speak into your existence something that you believe that you deserve and desire, it's going to come to you. You have to keep speaking it. You can't just say it once and then keep it moving. You can't just think it once and then keep it moving. Because those negative thoughts are constantly coming back. Those negative thoughts are constantly trying to fight you. Those negative thoughts are constantly trying to become an idol to you. So you don't idol worship. We don't idol worship over here. We don't put negative thoughts before God. We don't put negative thoughts before good. You need to be stepping all over those negative thoughts and uplifting your positive ones. Because that's going to help you remain in the mindset that you need to win. All right. So start manifesting better thoughts that bring you that bring your desire to you is honestly throughout the day is what you're thinking positive. Is it going to help you change your life? The thoughts that you're thinking, you don't have to be all super positive like me if you don't want to. Well, I'm not into all that positive stuff. Don't be. You don't have to. It's not for everybody. What you do need to be into is asking yourself, do these thoughts serve me? Are these thoughts going to get me out of life what I want? Are these thoughts leading me into the hellfire? Or are my thoughts leading me up to heaven? And with, with what am what because your mind is heaven and your mind can be hell. Your mind needs to be heaven so that way it could create heaven, so that way you can live in heaven. You're not supposed to be lit. The world may be hell. You're not supposed to be living in hell because you're a believer and you're a child of God. You're a son of God. You're a daughter of God. You have faith. Your life is supposed to be a reflection 
of the fruit that it bears. So your belief is supposed to bear fruit. What you believe in, what you think, what you speak, how you live your life is supposed to bear fruit. So keep tilling your land, keep working on your mind until your life produces the fruit that you want it to bear. Simple enough. And those are your manifestations. So keep working on your mind, keep working on your thoughts, keep working on your vision, keep believing in all of that, keep seeing yourself at the top, and that's where you're going to be. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels, salute to the Galactic Family, and salute to the Drew Nation. I'll see each and every one of you amazing go-getters in the next video. Everybody, routine maintenance, press the like button, press the share button, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos like this one because you won't get content like this anywhere except here on DrewTube. I'll see you all in the next video. Salute to the Drew Nation. We out. Peace.